is the uh, number one trending topic on Twitter. Whoa. And uh, it's the first night, uh, first time we've ever had a Twitter final question. And our winner is the person who got that question. So we're making history all over the place. Um, I have a little cheat sheet. I got to talk to Olivia, and I've gotten to know Olivia a little bit over the last couple of weeks. And we get to know each other a lot over the next year. We're very excited. The entire state of Rhode Island was downstairs. I think, and I think it was all your family. I think, yeah, they're all related. Yes, very big family. Uh, so I know I knew that you played the cello, but I did not know just how accomplished you are. She's been playing for 13 years. So excuse me for the uh, piece of paper. Um, so she won a seat at the Boston Symphony Hall and Carnegie Hall in New York and a tour of England in 2010. And uh, you're continuing to perform at Boston University, except you're gonna have to put that on hold for a year. Yes. And uh, you speak Italian? <laughs> and I studied twice in Italy. Uh, and I know, because I watched your, uh, your video tape, that you were a very big admirer of Audrey Hepburn. Yes. And uh, um, I know that because uh, it's a very good thing because you actually look a lot like Audrey Hepburn. And we have a very, very beautiful winner, as I was you, I said. It is my honor. Hold up, before you introduce them, a couple of questions. Yes. How, how was the Twitter question about the transgenders actually selected by Miss USA? How did we, uh, the how question did you pick was, it? how did we, uh, how did we ask the trend, how did we select the transgender? How did you select that question? Uh, you know, we had, there were a few topics uh, that we received, just an overwhelming number of questions about, and, and that by far was, uh, was the number one topic. And uh, so it really, it obviously it had been in the news and we try to be as topical and it's something that was obviously, uh, we were very involved with. So it seemed appropriate to select that question. And do you, do you know who the person was that actually sent in that tweet? Uh, we only know their handle. And, uh, you know I, their handle? I don't, yeah, I don't know it now, but yes. Would you find I'm, out? I can, uh, yes. And would you, would you say that that was the, 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 the deciding vote? for Olivia? Well, I think it probably helped, but I think it was a, a, Olivia's performance over the entire night. I think, uh, you know, we say when you cast that vote, you take into consideration the entire evening, but obviously, I, I thought all of our five finalists gave incredible answers tonight. There was, uh, they were all tough questions and everybody gave a really, uh, uh, everyone gave uh, great answers, and Olivia, uh, uh, really handled the difficult question very, very well. So and sure the question that we always ask is, did the judges pick the right girl? I think the judges picked very well, and uh, and I know we're going to have a fun year together. And so you can ask me the same question next year, and I'm sure I'll tell you yes. <laughs> <laughs> and and she's not the tallest of the uh, the eight. I don't find anything wrong with uh, uh, being shorter. <laughs> <laughs> now go. <ahead. laughs> Uh, it is my pleasure for the first time to officially introduce Miss USA 2012. Let's move the stick so, so that we get clean photos. I was with you last year half week. Incredible and a beautiful inside and outside. And I'm just so excited to be a part of such a great organization that um, enhances those qualities and moments because everyone is great. And I just can't wait to get to know you more and everyone else. Questions? Olivia, uh, Olivia, there was a moment when you held hands with your rival yes. and you. It was the most extraordinary look that I've ever seen on a contestant's face, which was like, tell us already, tell us already. I you know. were standing there forever. What was going through your mind at that moment? I was just so surprised, so shocked, so honored to be there. 
honestly, I was looking at Marilyn because she is owned by the same director as I am. So we were both looking at each other thinking, wow, they must be freaking out in the audience right now. They were freaking out because it was the first time that they ever had two runner-ups, well, a runner-up and a winner from those states. So that was incredible. And the tweet, and the tweet question, which I think really aced it for you. Mm -hmm. Did you, did you shudder when you heard it and you said, oh, I got the worst question of the night? What was no, your reaction was, when you heard it? No, it's funny that everybody's saying now that question was so controversial. I, I almost was nervous for you when you got it, but that question was not very difficult for me to answer because it's very general and we are a free country. So that's just, I would always, I would always walk that middle path and I would always say freedom comes first. So it was easy for me to answer that. Thank you. Thank you. Over here. What yes. do you want to say to more people? They had me sing this song in my interview, so you know what it is. But it's Funny Face, it's starring Audrey Hepburn and Fred Astaire, and uh, it's about a model. It's about Audrey Hepburn, who's a geek, and then she's transformed into a model. Go ahead, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay. Do it. I love your funny face. Your sunny, funny face. No, you're no Mona Lisa for something I forgot. I love your funny face. face. And she is smart, and they meet her in a library, and they say, No, we have to take Audrey to, to Paris because she's beautiful. Lo and behold, she's this, you know, librarian. So that's why I love that song, because it's just supposed to show you can be beautiful and be happy. <laughs> what's, what's your schedule? Maybe Paula, you join her. What's your schedule from this moment for the next 24 hours? I have an 8 a.m. flight tomorrow to New York, and then Tuesday I'll be uh, live with Kelly. And then we have three weeks before starting right when I get there. So there's a lot in store. She probably knows yes, a little bit. No, no, actually, I it's changing every moment, but uh, uh, yes, to, uh, it's just to get her home tomorrow, see her new apartment for the year, and uh, and is breakfast at Tiffany's on the menu? Well, she's, she's oh, a walk please. away. <laughs> I need to walk by Tiffany's tomorrow morning with my little, uh, what was that opening for breakfast at Tiffany's? Yeah, breakfast yeah. at Tiffany's with the bag and the coffee. Hello. Uh, and, and she's a block questions. away from Tiffany's, and as everyone knows, Trump Tower is right there. So I have a feeling you'll be spending a lot of time. Carly, <laughs> <laughs> over here, please. Yeah, go ahead and send up. Right over here. And Olivia, right over here. Olivia, to your left. Please. One more right over here, Olivia, in the center. Thank you. And there's one more Olivia right here. Hey, Olivia, right here. Olivia, right here, Van. Right here, Olivia, one last time, please. Right here to your left. Just one here, please. Thank you. you. Got it? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. One on the left, too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to Las Vegas and uh, Caesars Entertainment for the Hollywood. They really outdone themselves this year, and they really gave us and showed all of our contestants a wonderful time. Thank you. Olivia, is there a steady boyfriend? No, there's no boyfriend. All right. I'm sure that's a good thing. That's probably. what I'm going to hear. Yeah. I feel like it was one of the you know, everyone is ready for to be when you're Miss USA. There's a lot of help. There's never any help if there's a boyfriend, and that's always a tough position. That's a tougher crown. Did you say something? He's not a boyfriend by the end. Uh, Aluka, uh, no, that's wrong. No, I kept saying this to myself before I kept go, was going on stage, and it's Aluka de Lepo, and it means. Uh, what is it? Muy buenas noches. No, no, that's Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia, are you going to have... Lope or something. Sonia Daro. The, the wolf's mouth, and it means good luck, we tell uh, Yeah, okay. uh, your first, okay. so your, that's... Your first meal as, uh, or your first dish Pasta. as Miss uh, USA, is it going to be chicken noodle soup or Indian food? Oh, I, you know what? I had chicken noodle soup a lot in the spice market, so it might be something. <laughs> Thank, right, you thank you, everyone.